Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and I am hanging out outside of Vintage Beef's TCG. That's Trading Card Game. Now, he's got two arenas constructed. He's got the Lemon Arena, and for those of you who are big fans of Lime Green, he's also got the Lime Arena. This one's my favorite. It matches my glasses. But anyway, more importantly, he has opened the doors of the TCG shop for us to purchase our very first starter packs. Where do we do that? Boom, starter decks. First deck, five diamond blocks. Additional decks, five TCG tokens. Okay, so we are going to drop five diamond blocks right there. We're going to press the starter deck button. Let's see what we get. Huh. <gasps> I, I love that. I love the music. Okay, so we are just going to open this on the floor here. And we can see what we got. We got, oh boy, I should have came with an empty inventory. We got a lava bucket. We got an iron sword. We got a shield. Milk bucket, water bucket. We've got Zedaf, Tango, Doc Common, Impulse Common, Doc Rare. So we've got Farm and Redstone this deck, it looks like. I am so excited. I'm so excited to get playing. Also, myself, Jevin, and our good friend, Zombie Cleo. That's right. Zombie Cleo from my famous video, A Few Strong Words for Zombie Cleo, are all going to be helping Vintage Beef to referee some of these games, making sure that folks learn the rules. However, I can't fly because I don't have my elytra on. Now I do. Okay. Y'all saw in my last episode how we completed this side of the pinball machine cabinet. Our next step is going to be working on that side of the back box there. However, in the meantime, I have also begun work digging out the inside of the machine to make room for some of the components we're going to have to put in here. Power switch goes in here. We need the subwoofer. We need the uh, power supply. We need all sorts of stuff inside of here. And we haven't dug it out yet. You know, there is so much to dig out here. I invited my sister Quinn over to play guitar and hang out. And then, you know what I noticed? Sometimes hermits log onto the server and they don't get greeted. We always greet Scar so he doesn't murder us with his hot guy bow. But what if we uh, took a few moments out of our day to greet some of the other hermits? Let's go see how Zombie Cleo's doing. Zombie Cleo. Zombie Cleo. Cleo, welcome back to the server you logged off for so long. Now, now you're back on the server. We welcome you in song. Welcome back. Welcome back. Cleo. Woo, Cleo. Hi. I got a little bit more digging done, and I thought, hey, there's Gemini Tay. Maybe she'd like to have a little fun. Gemini. Gemini Tay. Gemini Tay, welcome back today. Welcome back to Hermitcraft, the game you play with your pals at the card shop every day. Welcome back to the server. It's Gemini Tay. Gemini Tay. God, this makes a great video in intro. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Away! Away! As I continue to hew away, removing rocks and placing blocks on the bottom of my pinball cabinet, who do I see up in the sky? Well, really more on the text saying they're logged in. It's Pearlescent Moon! Howdy Pearl! Howdy Pearl! It's like the moon has risen in Ooh. Australia once again. Good day. Good day, Pearl. Good day, Pearl. Good morning or good evening or whatever time it is. We really don't know. I don't think she's got her headphones on. Oh, no. She's looking at the ground. Looking all around at the ground. That's 
what the real moon does Every time I look up, it looks down The moon's looking down on you Pearlescent moon, welcome back To a server called Hermit Craft Hermit Craft <laughs> Thank you, Jerry <laughs> Impulse logged in He's elusive, get him! Good morning, Impulse SV. Good morning, Good morning, Joe of the Hills. Welcome back to the server you see. It's so good to be here Let's with my buddy Joe. Welcome, whoa, friendship. And palin' around is the greatest gift that I've ever found. We place blocks, but the blocks we take down between each other are the best thing of all. Preach! Hey, man! Well done, Joe! Well done, Impulse! <laughs> yeah, I've got my sister Quinn in the studio with me on the guitar. And hey there, Impulse! Yeah, if, if you ever Whoa. have a sibling that can join you on the drums while you're in Minecraft, we could do a whole thing together. There you go. There you go. I got the drums behind me. I gotta hook it up. Yeah, yeah. I should have busted out right then. <laughs> Sorry, I try. I, I ad libbed your little song there. No, no, no. This is we're 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 just dive bombing everybody, and like All you're right. the first person to actually sing back. Yes, it was <laughs> it was magical. It was magical. Uh, yeah, my <laughs> amazing voice. You're welcome. Have a great stream, man. <laughs> Catch you later. All right, thanks. See you, Bye. Man. Bye. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Tango Tech of Decked Out fame. We better go sing him a song. Here's to you, Mr. Tango Tech. Here's to you, Mr. Tango Tech. The hermits love you more than you could know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God bless you, please, Mr. Tango Tech. Building dicked out every single day. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Building in a building place that no one ever goes. Hi, uh, Joe. Bye. Bye. The goatest of all time just logged on. It's Doc M77. Let's go perform a little bit for him. Welcome back to Hermit Craft, Doc M77. Hope your Thursday's going well. When you are editing, you've got so much footage, it must be overwhelming. But you're looking snazzy in that classic diamond helmet. I'm impressed. Welcome back to Hermit Craft. Welcome back. Welcome back to Hermit Craft. Hermit Craft. You're back. And I'm out. Woo. Dang it, I hit that wall. Mumbo Jumbo needs copper. We better meet him outside of Grian's so we don't spoil anything about his upcoming build. Hello. Howdy, Mumbo. How's it going? Good. I got my sister in the studio with a guitar today, so you get a little copper <laughs> delivery tune. Copper <laughs> delivery. It copper from you to me. No, wait, scratch that. Reverse it. It's copper from Joe to Mumbo Jumbo. This is this is a this is the most that is that is not how I expected my copper to arrive today. That is that was unique. That was very very unique. <laughs> You're most welcome, Hermitcraft. We should always bring a little bit of uniqueness into folks' lives. Anyway, enjoy and good luck with your builds, Mumbo. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Well, it was a delight sing song ditching our friends. However, every episode needs to end. But I want to cap this one off by fully pine wooding, I don't know, plywooding 
I want to get the bottom of this cabinet done. I want to get back to working on the galaxies on the side of the back box back up there. That is going to be a real fun way to spend some time between card games next episode. But in the meantime, let's just get these planks in. Woo! I'm hoping to have a little bit more fun with the card game. You might have noticed that the, I didn't do too much with the card game this episode. Part of that was that I saw how many of my friends were going to be showing the exact same matches in their episodes. They had already uploaded them. But also, I'm going to be doing some more creative stuff. I'm going to have Quinn actually helping me do some sound effects with some card game things coming up on Thursday. So hopefully that'll end up in the next episode along with working on those galaxies there. So if you're thirsting for some card game action, don't worry. We went a little light on it this week, but only because I saw everybody else was just flooding the market. What? Art shouldn't be in a market? Probably not. Probably not. No, you're right. You're right. But you may have noticed that this art was mid-roll ad-free. That's thanks to Patreon sponsor Bioduck. So in lieu of that mid-roll ad, I will now present you a poetry prompt of your own devising. No, my own devising. I come up with the poetry prompt. You write the poem, and you put it in the YouTube comment section below. 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 I'm just going to keep saying below until I get the last block in place here. <gasps> we did it! There we go. There we go. Look, we got the entire front third of the machine's kind of floor in. Gonna take some time to do the rest of this. Oh, boy. But, yeah. So, for our poetry prompt. I'm looking at this pyramid real hard, and I'm thinking maybe pyramid relocation might be an interesting poetry prompt. Let's see what y'all can do with that. Get, give it a little bit of a classical touch. Alrighty. Well, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.